I'm about to show you seven drum fills that absolutely changed my drumming. Each one of these has some sort of concept that improves flow around the kit. So by learning these, you get better at just improvising and sounding cool when you play around the drum. For this lesson, there's gonna be three parts to each drum fill. Part A is gonna be the pattern, so that's just what you do with your hands and your feet. Part B is gonna be applying that pattern around the kit, like just a small example. And then part C is taking that pattern and improvising it in whatever way possible. Before we get to the first drum fill, you can download the PDF for this lesson for free by checking out the link in the description below. So this first drum fill is just a nine note pattern and it's gonna sound like this. Now let's turn it into an actual drum fill. What we're gonna do is turn it into 16th note triplets. We're gonna put that in the bar. We're gonna play it a few times, but you'll notice that it doesn't like land on the one. So just at the end of the bar, we're gonna add a quick three note pattern between the floor tom and the snare drum. That's also a fantastic drum fill to play in like a jazz swing vibe. Okay, once you have that, you can just try improvise it around the kit. So here's me doing that. Next drum fill is a four note pattern. This is actually one of the most common patterns that you will hear every intermediate advanced drummer play. It's just right, left, left kick with your right hand accented and your left hands as ghost notes in the snare. Okay, let's orchestrate that around the kit. Once you're comfortable with that pattern, try improvise, see what you can do.
Next four is building onto the last one. What you would have noticed with the last one is it sounds kind of square, if that makes sense. So it's a bit like plain. What's cool here with this next one is we're going to just improve the phrasing a bit by adding layers and adding a bit more depth to how it sounds. Cool, let's play that around the drums, see how it sounds. Finally, we'll try improvise that around the kit. All right, that last fill was really fast, so let's slow it down a bit, play something a bit more chilled and relaxed. This one sounds really cool. It's a bit of a, I don't know, like a gospel chop vibe. That's how it sounds. All you're doing here is playing 16th notes between your hands and your bass drum foot. But at some point, you're going to double up your hands by playing the hi-hat and the drum at the same time. Cool, let's move that onto the kit. Here's an orchestration idea. Last part of this whole idea here is improvising around the kit. Next one, also a bit of a simple one. All you're gonna do is go kick, right, left, and repeat that in triplets. However, the goal here is to get it really quick, and that's when it sounds good. So here's the pattern on its own between the floor tom and snare drum. Here's the pattern moving around the kit to create an orchestrated drum fill. Final part, 
improvise that around the kids, see what you can do. This is a really fun one to play. This next drum fill is a rudiment called a six-stroke roll. Also, super fun to play. A lot of drummers play this all the time. Here's how it sounds on the snare drum. You're gonna accent the outer notes and you're gonna ghost the inner notes. Let's put that on the toms to create a cool drum fill. You know the drill by now, here's me just improvising it around the kit. This next drum fill sounds super complicated, but it is actually quite easy to learn once you understand what's actually going on. So this is called a bludger, but the way I was playing it there, you'd actually call that pattern the bludger, blue bludger. Basically, you're gonna play the ride cymbal and the snare drum and the bass drum all at the same time on beat one. However, every time you do that, play the snare, ride and bass, you're going to just flam it slightly. So you're going to play the ride cymbal first and then the snare drum just afterwards. In the notation, I've written it together because it looks a bit unclean when you flam, but make sure you flam that because that's like the main way of getting the sound. After that, you're gonna play two right hands on the snare drum, then you're gonna play a main left hand, you're gonna repeat that. So the reason it's called the blush is because that, like how you say that is what it sounds like. So blush da, blush da. And then blush da, blue blush da is because you're going Blush the blush the blue blush the blush the blush the crash. Here's how it sounds. Cool. I'm not gonna like orchestrate that as an idea around the kit because that is like the full. It mainly sounds good when you play it on the snare drum. However, here's a short clip of me just trying to move that around the kit, seeing what it sounds like.
So those are all really cool drum fills to learn that will absolutely like change your drumming once you start developing the skills all of those require. If you want to learn some grooves that have the same sort of effect, check this video out.